There's so many problems in the Metropolitan Police and now we're told that the size of a small police force of Metropolitan Police officers are suspended or on restricted duties. 201 officers were suspended, 860 of them on restricted duties. It says it will take two or more years to root out those who are corrupting policing. Why is it going to take two years, Parham? Why can't we just get rid of these people immediately? And that's the big question. And to just put it into context... The officers that are going to court now or that are being sacked through the misconduct panels, they would have committed their offences two years ago or three years ago. It takes between 18 months and two years to get an officer in front of a misconduct board. That's crackers. I mean, are these people being paid full pay, Parham? Yes, they are. And during that time, they, whilst they're still working, even if they're restricted, they will still be getting more complaints. And Baroness Casey, who did her report in March of this year, pointed out an officer, she gave evidence of an officer who got a complaint. And by the time he actually got to his first misconduct board, he had 12 complaints outstanding. So those officers don't learn from the first complaint. They carry on with that behaviour. And if we're talking about predators or domestic violence, sexual violence, or any of the other um, issues that have, that, have been, that have arisen, that's those types of offences, really serious things mm. that are, they are allowed to carry on with. Why does it take so long? I mean, is there just such a backlog of complaints within the matter of police? There are clearly very many people involved here, over a thousand either suspended or on restricted duties. And uh, the crimes of David Carrick and Wayne Cousins were sadly all too familiar with. That has led to 100 dismissals for gross misconduct in the last 12 months, a 66% increase on historical averages. So the force would say they're rooting out more people, but it does seem to be taking a tremendously long time, Parm. There is no reason for this to take 18 months to two years, and I think it's unacceptable, especially when you're telling the public to wait another couple of years before you can reignite that trust and confidence in policing. The public need to know that when they're in that moment of crisis and they ask for help, they're going to get a good, caring police officer, which is what the majority are. But unfortunately, there is this core of people who need to be sacked and taken out of policing. Parm, this is probably slightly off topic, but actually you've talked about the good, caring police officers out there, and I'm, I've absolutely no doubt that the majority of police officers in this country are good yeah. people, uh, as, as I know you were a great and, and very uh, ethical officer. But we're at a, at a stage now, let me just give the example of the Russell Brand allegations, which she completely denies, but nonetheless we're in a situation where there are women who feel more comfortable speak they may not feel comfortable at all but they're certainly willing to speak to journalists from the times sunday times and dispatches but who haven't gone to the police with rape convictions at one percent i mean 99 there's 99 other women uh, one would imagine not all of them are lying it's a matter of of things not just being proven but the confidence in the police and confidence in the criminal justice system is really really bad at the moment, Parm. And this, in terms of people suspended or in restricted duties, that is just not going to help. There are three things that police could do to make this situation better. The first one is to support the victims or the officers who come forward to report other colleagues. The second one is to have an independent body that then investigate them. You asked about why does it take so long? It's because the police are marking their own homework. Mm. It doesn't go to an independent body for investigation. So for one week, you and I could be working together and I could be laughing at your jokes. The following week, I could could be investigating you for that same behaviour. That is not independent. So that's the second thing that needs to be done. And the third thing is it needs to be speeded up and it needs to be transparent. Now, you talked about the rape cases. It's a really sad situation that we've got where victims are re-traumatised. I used to deal with rape victims and they go through the court process where they are are accused of being liars. Their phones are downloaded. They, they have to go through it. It takes a huge amount of courage for any rape victim to actually pursue the case right through to court mm-hmm. because of cancellations, because of being let down, because of being that, you know, re-traumatised through it. It's a terrible, terrible situation that we're in.